Yes, uh, I, I agree with David, and David is a very respected journalist. Um, and I do agree with most of his points, you know, regarding uh, Unga, you know, food in Kenya, regarding, uh, you know, the processes that we have that are running our elections. Uh, and what I can say is that uh, the Jubilee government was not prepared to govern. In, in 2013. They were not prepared. And this is based on uh, what we've seen in the last four years. They were simply not prepared. You know, they had these elaborate plans. If you go on social media, you'll find uh, these plans of high-speed trains and stadiums, uh, you know, across the counties. Uh, and these things are still living on social media. Uh, they made these uh, large promises, mm -hmm. but they were not prepared to govern. When they got in, they realized that, uh, you know, those promises that they gave were nowhere close to what they could be able to do. But, of they course, have, but, have, but in fairness to them, they have delivered uh, the uh, essentially standard gauge railway, which well, I think is really a huge Well, you economic. will remember the standard gauge railway was under the plan of uh, Vision 2030 under the coalition government of uh, 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 hopefully the next president, Raila Odinga, yes. and, uh, and Moe Kibaki. It was a project under the coalition government. But they, but they delivered. Uh, well, they, the, the train left Nairobi and it went to Mombasa. So we can say it started working, but, but delivered, I'm not sure. You what know, about the jobs that come with the project, for example? Of course, there are jobs that come with the project. But what I'm saying is that, uh, first of all, like David Ohito mentioned, uh, they spent more than three times that was supposed to be spent. We know how much was spent in, uh, in Ethiopia and mm -hmm. other neighboring countries. And uh, so, Tanzania? Yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, we know that there was a lot of money that was spent there was a lot of corruption involved. And those uh, are, in fact, I think, run on electricity, correct? Yours is yes, diesel. Yes, ours is diesel. Mm -hmm. And then you'll also realize that the Chinese were given almost all the contracts on everything. There were some funny pictures that were going around uh, showing the, the translations in Kiswahili mm -hmm. that the Chinese had made. They first of all had wrong, these are signs in the, in the railway station, they first of all had the wrong uh, wording in English, and then the Kiswahili translation, it was nothing but comical. Um, and we're in a country where we have a lot of able Swahili speakers, they decided to give it to the Chinese. They were not prepared for the launch. You know, we, we, we are appreciative. You know, we needed uh, rail transport between Nairobi and Mombasa mm -hmm. in a timely fashion, but they were not prepared to launch it. But they set it up in such a way that they were going to launch it right before the election, conveniently before the election, you know, to try and get some brownie points because uh, they're suffering right now. You know, all the votes they think that were in their bag are really not there. So they're desperate and they're looking for any way to get uh, extra votes in the back.